Hello, it is me again, Nick Hennigan, again, again, from the old city of Edinburgh. Just thought I'd show you that side, Dicks. A lot of bins outside. Um, and uh, this is the way to, well, one of our ways out. We'll pop over there called the Toll Booth Tavern, which, yes, you'll be surprised to know I, I have actually checked out. So the birth of Frankenstein is up and running. We got a great review in bohemianbritain.com, which is a strange one because it's like my website, but I actually got someone to review it. Um, the reviewer, I won't tell you too much about the reviewer because she's like a proper reviewer who does professional stuff, but she also likes Maverick. So she's often, uh, will come in and do a review if it's something I'm very close to for bohemianbritain.com. And we got five stars. Um, I'd have been surprised if we'd have got one. <laughs> But uh, the five was a nice surprise. As I say, she's, um, she does it independently. We also have a thing called the Fringe Review coming in, that uh, came in today rather. I was a bit worried because it's a tiny little room. If you're in Edinburgh, come and see us because for the last, oh, blimey, all the time, I think, since 1992 was my first Edinburgh festival. Still need a haircut. Um, and this is the smallest venue we've ever been in. It's pretty nice up here, isn't it? Look, this is me on my way. I'm going walking up to the venue. Not too shoddy, is it, Edinburgh? Uh, <laughs> but this venue we're in, I, I blocked it. I directed it. And when you direct a show, block it. You make, you know, the actors move. You tell them where to go. I had them standing on chairs and I was swinging stuff around. Not realising this theatre is so small, it's almost kind of room height. And in fact, Cal Callum, who you'll meet later if you haven't already, he's quite a tall bloke. Um, and we could hardly light the top of his head. But I kind of love it. It feels really, really fringy. And audiences have been really loving it as well. We've got some great reviews on edfringe.com. Um, and I do know it's very unusual for a reviewer to talk to anyone involved. Uh, <clears throat> because the air conditioning was on today in this little room, making a right racket. And I apologise to the reviewer because I knew who he was. And he was very complimentary. So I think we're going to get a really good review, a five-star review there as well. So um, that's kind of all good news. The bad news is I've been hacked. Oh, my Facebook's all gone, governor. So, um, I don't know whether it's because we've been posting quite a lot recently. And we've, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, you know, from Fleabag, did a little video, which I'll share with you later on as well. But, so, yeah, all the Facebook's gone. And I suppose Mr. and Mrs. Facebook in America will be able to get it back for me. Um, it's not so much my Facebook book, but it's the other pages, the Literary Pub Crawl, London Literary Pub Crawl, uh, obviously Maverick Theatre Company. So, anyway, I'll have to try and sort that out. I got hacked a few years ago on Twitter. I used to have 10,000 followers on Twitter. My lovely friend, Anissa, she said, how come you got 10,000? Well, partly because I started quite early. Um, uh, and partly because I bought 50, which I thought was what you had to do. <laughs> Only 50 names. I soon realised that you don't. This is another little spot I'm going to talk to you about later on. It's called the Cannon's Gate. It's part of the Free Fringe as well. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a groovy little place. I was in there last night. I'm going to put some posters up, uh, some uh, photos of uh, their free fringe events, comedy events. Uh, so, sorted out. I've got a new Facebook profile, so if you know me and you've got a friend request, it is me. I put more grey hair on this picture, so you'll know it's me. Um, and if you are in Edinburgh, then please do come and see us. Uh, we're on at 12.30 every morning in the Pleasance Courtyard in this venue called The Cellar. And it really is a cellar. Uh, and I've just been loving the way people have, there's been people actually almost in tears for all the right reasons at the end of this play. Um, and I don't want to give too much away. We do start it, by the way, and I haven't mentioned this in the programme, um, with a bit of Paradise Lost. Um, we were hoping Mark Rylance was going to read this for us. Uh, lovely Mark Rylance. Because he's just opened a new show in the West End, he understandably <laughs> is a little bit busy. So I've done it. <laughs> with a bit of effect. So yes, you can hear me perform, darlings. Um, um, and then be wowed by what the actors are doing. The actors are gaining plaudits, quite right plaudits for their performances because um, they're brilliant and I love them. I always end up loving my actors. I think, I, <laughs> I think it's part of the job, I really do. Um, so we might see you soon. Uh, if not, check out mavericktheatre.com. We're coming back to the Billsley in Birmingham. You don't have to come to Edinburgh. It's a bigger room, the Billsley. Uh, come and see us down there uh, at the end of August. And uh, obviously get in touch if you'd like to, well, get in touch, it'd be nice to hear from you. This is another groovy place here, the Waverley over here. Uh, where's it gone? Yes, I think that's the Waverley, isn't it? Um, they make a lot of the fact that Billy Connolly and uh, was it the Humble Bombs with uh, Billy Connolly and, you know, Jeffrey Rafferty, they all kind of started here. 
I'll go in and check the beer for you. All right, see you later. Ta-da!